to have you here. Memorial Day yesterday? Yeah, I guess. I guess most people sat around all day doing nothing, you know. But enough about the Lakers. Hey, but I want to tell you. Well, the big story is the Supreme Court. President Obama has found his nominee. She is a federal appeals judge, Sonia Sotomayor. I think her name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Latino woman. How about that? So, you know what? The, hey, well, you know what that means? Ruth Bader Ginsburg, no longer the hot chick on the court, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if confirmed, she would be the country's first Hispanic judge. Uh, in fact, her first order of business, deporting Lou Dobbs. That's what she said to me. <laughs> Actually, the, uh, the Republicans a little disappointed uh, when they heard Obama said he might appoint a minority. They went, oh, great, a Republican. But then, then they realized. Of course, they're still waiting to see where uh, Judge Sotomayor stands on a lot of the important issues. You know, are Heidi and Spencer really married? You know, <laughs> Who's Jennifer Anderson dating now? Huh? Should Adam Lambert have won American Idol? There's so many issues that concern the American people. And Judge Sotomayor said she seemed overwhelmed today. And she said it really won't sink in until she hears Rush Limbaugh say he hopes she fails. Then she knows. Well, you know, over the weekend, you know, there was some more back and forth between uh, former Secretary of State Colin Powell and Rush Limbaugh. It's getting nasty. I don't know, General Powell versus Rush Limbaugh, you know... Unless it's a pie-eating contest, I gotta go with Powell. Okay. <laughs> and North Korea tested another nuclear bomb. The fear is that North Korea will sell this nuclear weapon to some unstable, volatile world leader. You know, like Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, hours after being criticized for conducting this underground nuclear test, North Korea decided to test a new surface-to-air missile. Pretty scary stuff. But you know, technology, I don't think they're up to us technology-wise. Well, take a look. Here it is. Okay, here they are getting ready to test it. Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, over in China right now, her office says the Speaker will not be bringing up human rights abuses to the Chinese. Uh, See so that she's going to try and focus on common ground with China, like the fact that they both call the CIA liars. You know, something they can <laughs> find some common ground on. Yeah, yeah. Actually, John Kerry is over there with Nancy Pelosi right now. This is part of the Democrats' new plan to put all the people who say the wrong things in one place, you know? <laughs> like Joe Biden flying in as we speak. Exactly. Well, the big story here in California. California Supreme Court today upheld Proposition 8. That's the ban on gay marriage. So, well, well the court ruled. Well, but the court did rule that the 18,000 or so gay couples who did get married before the proposition passed can legally stay married. So, Kev, we don't have to return those gifts. We're fine. <laughs> no, we get it. Oh, man. Yeah, we, uh, oh, man. we got good stuff, too. We get to keep the chafing dish. The chafing yeah. dish, your yeah. favorite. Yeah, and the juicer. The ju oh, I like that. You I know, it. well, that's why. Well. <laughs> well, they upheld the ban, which is bad news, unless you're a gay guy who doesn't want to get married, you see. <laughs> now you can go, Bob, the courts have spoken. <laughs> oh, man. And six German states have told, told retailers to stop selling Red Bull energy drinks in Germany after a test found trace amounts of cocaine. Whoa. Cocaine and Red Bull. Well, now I know why it costs four bucks a can. <laughs> Man. Hey. That's got to be France's worst nightmare. A bunch of Germans hopped up on coke. Come on. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> The theme from Hogan's Hero? We're trying to throw it all I in before you. the end of the week, Jay. <laughs> actually, you know, you know what tipped them off, actually? Amy Winehouse started drinking it by the case and went, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, uh, I tell you, Kev, it's not looking good. The economy's in bad shape. It's still in bad oh, shape. Oh, the economy is hurting. The economy is so bad, people are, are sewing their shamwows together just to make a Snuggie. That's how bad it is. <laughs> The 
economy is so bad today, a dog asked Michael Vick, set up some fights for him. He needed the money. That's how bad. That's how bad. Beverly Hills. People in Beverly Hills are hurting, Kev. Really? Oh, terrible. Guys in Beverly Hills are going to Earl Shive to get the spray on tan. It's cheaper. That's right. In fact, the economy is so bad, Governor Schwarzenegger had to take a second job narrating Hooked on Phonics CDs. That's how bad it is. How bad it is. Yeah. As you know, Governor Schwarzenegger, our guest here tonight. He's not actually here as a guest. He's here to pass the hat. The state is broke. Give generously here. We need, yeah, we need the money here to help. And you know, this recession is affecting just about everyone. Even the women on The View. The women on The View are suffering. Did you see what Barbara Walters did yesterday with uh, Soldier Boy, the rapper guy? You know the guy that wears all the bling? You see, what, you see what she did? I couldn't believe Take a look. I noticed what? that you're investing your money in diamonds and gold. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's worth more than the CDs right now, I'll tell you that. What is that? What is that? And to prepare for next year's Olympics in Vancouver, prostitutes in Canada are being given a brochure that teaches them how to talk to foreign reporters. <laughs> rule number one, if the reporters from NBC, get your money up front. That's the rule. <laughs> No, that's a real story. That's a real story. To prepare for the Olympics in Vancouver next year, Canadian prostitutes are being taught how to deal with foreign journalists, which is... Well, you can see why Canada would be worried. I mean, you don't want your country being, country being embarrassed because one of your whores said the wrong thing to a reporter. <laughs> I hate to see that happen. And this sounds awful. A Swiss company has just come out with a cheeseburger in a can. You buy it in a can. Yeah, and after eating, you'll be in the can, too, for about three hours. <laughs> you know, why would you need a cheeseburger in a can? Is that supposed to keep you from passing out from hunger while you make the 45-second drive to the nearest McDonald's, huh? <laughs> Is there any American that's even more than 10 feet from a fast food place in this country? <laughs> well, a new study has found that having a cat makes you 40% less likely to die of a heart attack. <laughs> Not that a cat could care less either way, really. <laughs> And police in Granville, Michigan are now on the lookout for a 10-year-old 40-pound tortoise that escaped from the backyard last Monday night. Wow. Yeah, yeah. They think he could now be as far away as the end of the driveway. <laughs> well, it's time for a new segment on The Tonight Show. We call it new segment. We've got two days left on the show. Oh, oh, the writers, are f now they get new ideas. We got a new idea. Hey, That's thank good. you. Check it out. Got three days left. Got a new segment. Now, it's called Busted. I, want, it, I saw this on Fox News yesterday. I, I caught it out of the corner of my eye. It's a group of reporters. We haven't altered. First, take a look at the tape. Take a look at the tape, okay? And hey, welcome back here to Fox and Friends. We want to take a moment to oh, thank okay. all of you. See the guy behind there? Looks fairly normal, the right? Forces. Now, you probably didn't even notice this. I want to show you this clip again in slow motion. I want to show just how sly men can be. Now, we, have, we haven't altered this or changed this in any way. But watch this guy checking out the girl's rear ends. Look at the guy right behind. Okay, look at it in slow motion. Okay, look, look there. Look there. Going close. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And according to, media, according to Media Inc., Playboy Enterprise is currently on the market. $300 million. You have the whole Playboy deal. If you purchase Playboy, you get the publication rights, you get product distribution rights, and of course, three blondes that pretend to be in love with you. So that's enough. <laughs> and Us Weekly says the Octomom, Nadia Suleiman's reality show, getting closer to happening. It's going to be called I'm a Fetus, Get Me Out of Here. <laughs> What else happened? Oh, uh, over the weekend, a good friend Larry King threw out the first pitch at Yankee Stadium. Oh, yeah. yeah, unfortunately, also threw out his hip, shoulder, leg, and back. <laughs> we know Larry King has got a new book out. In his new book, he admits now he has a son he never, ever knew about. The son is like 48 years old. And the son's name is Larry King Jr. <laughs> now, gee, what tipped him off? <laughs> The kid's name is Larry King Jr. His mom is my ex-wife. Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> 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 
And finally, in Germany, a man trying to impress his friends stuck a loaded gun in his pants pocket. It went off, severing his sex organ. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> See, there is something worse than shooting your mouth off. See that? See that? Forget that. Folks, we'll be back with a message. It's very simple. Four fixed wheels like to go in straight lines, whereas a ball can move in any direction. So a clear choice. Easy turns with minimal effort, or do it the old-fashioned way. space. The world gets fewer smog-forming emissions. The third-generation Prius. It's harmony between man, nature, and machine. My army crushed a pitiful humans on TV tonight. Don't worry about it. I have direct TV. I can easily set my home DVR and record the movie right from here. The impressive technology for a human. Humans are smarter than apes. With direct TV, you can easily set your home DVR from any cell phone or computer. Call 1 800 direct TV. Chrysler and Jeep, we're building a new car company. Come see what we're building for you. Navy Federal Credit Union. We serve where you serve. I'm Cutler Dawson, president of Navy Federal. Our members benefit from our sound financial practices, outstanding savings and loan rates, worldwide 24-7 service, and our unique ability to serve members of the military and their families. So if your family is part of the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, or Air Force, I invite you to let Navy Federal become part of your tradition of service. Navy Federal. We serve where you serve. Victory for life. This is Victor Nissan's Memorial Day sales event, where you'll find the best deals of the year and pay no sales tax to purchase now through May 31st. Victory for life. Buy a brand new Nissan Rogue for just $1.99 per month and get our exclusive lifetime warranty. Plus, we'll pay your sales tax. It's why more people choose victory for life. Victory for life. Oh. Good show one of my favorite guests, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, will join us in just a little bit. We also have another video tribute we want to show you tonight. These are fun. These are highlights of all the politicians that have visited the Tonight Show. That's oh. the cool thing about this. Right. You know, everybody that's run for president has come through here. And one of the finest musicians I know, Dwight Yoakam, will perform as well. <laughs> Tomorrow night, Wanda Sykes will be here. Later in the week, Billy Crystal and Conan O'Brien on Friday. All right? Plus, we'll share more videotape memories of the past 17 years. Now, you know, over the years, we've met people while jaywalking. You know, these just people we meet on the streets. Right. And, well, see, these people have such a unique perspective on life. We decided to... Uh, to make them special correspondents to the show. Now, these aren't celebrities. These are just people we met during jaywalking. We liked the way they answered the questions. And we gave them a mic and just sent them out to do various chores and duties around the country. This is what we call our homegrown correspondents. <laughs>
Kevin, remember Angela Ramos? Oh, yeah. Remember the girl with the annoying laugh? Yeah, oh, yeah, God. I remember her. Well, just, <laughs> just a, so full of enthusiasm. She's a girl from Florida with this just outrageous a laugh. Uh, annoying, more annoying than outrageous, <laughs> but, uh, but it, she made me laugh. She didn't know anything about politics. We said the perfect person to send out to cover the 2000 presidential campaign. Her job was to get a hug from every candidate running for president. And by golly, she worked hard. Uh, took a little effort to get one politician in particular. Take a look. Governor Bush, Governor Bush. Hi, I'm Angela so nice to. I was hoping. You're going to give me a hug, are you? All his supporters, we getting thrown out. We're getting thrown out. We're gonna go. We're getting thrown out. Can you believe this, Gore? You're in trouble, buddy. We got a lot of stuff from Bradley McCain and uh, who else? Is it? I'm sorry. Well, Al Gore, if you are out there watching, <laughs> this is one voter that you could make very, very happy. I'm not registered. <laughs> Affiliate with the Democratic Party or the Republican? Uh -huh, Party? Yeah, I know what that was supposed to be. You want me to put Democrat? What? No, it's up to you. Yeah, right. I'm sitting next to you now. Put no, Democrat. <laughs> Next, we have Jody and Lindsay. <laughs> These are two students from Oklahoma. They were out here visiting from Universal Studios, the nicest girls you could imagine. And, and they worked off of each other, finishing each other's stuff. Kind of two girls sharing a brain. I think it would be a fair way to say that. <laughs> I don't mean that in a cruel way. I mean, that's just the way... Oh, yeah. I, I don't. It's like they had jumper cables from head to head. It was amazing. We sent them to cover the 2000 Republican National Convention. Here's, here's their take. What can you tell us about the Republican platform? The Republican it platform. It looks carpeted. <laughs> what is a caucus? A dead body. That's a caucus. If you look up, you'll notice the propellers are in the back of the plane. Why do you think that is? To get it going. You don't want the propeller in the front, yeah. so you go backwards. So the wind pushes that way, and it makes the when it pushes that way, it makes the plane go that way. Right. Okay, but what about all those other planes over there? They had the propellers in the front. Maybe he flew in reverse a lot or something. Besides the plane, the president also has a car. Oh. What do you think it's called? Ground Force One. <laughs> Next. Next, we have Kip and Kim. Now, Kip was a college student in Texas. A college student. <laughs> and, and Kim was studying to be EMT. Oh my God. Right. Now we put these two together, Kip and Kim. We blindfolded them and we flew them to landmarks around the country. You see, we took them to a landmark. We drive them there blindfolded. I have no idea. We take the blindfold off and they have to figure out where they are by looking at the landmark. Seems easy, doesn't it? Oh yeah. You think so. Where in the heck are Kip and Kim? Yeah. Okay, guys, you can take off your blindfolds. Where are we? Uh, uh a river? Hoover Dam. Why'd they make it so high yeah, if the water's it, down there? Yeah. There's like this huge wall, That's and the water's the all the way down there, and the water only flows down there. There's no water coming over that wall, so there's yeah. no point for that extra wall. There is it. Okay, guys, where are you now? Uh, We're Nevada. in Nevada. Okay. Now I'm in Arizona. It's 11 o'clock. So I'm an hour behind her, and I'm in, like, arm's distance. Now what if you stand directly on the line? I don't know. Oh, 1030. Okay. It's the same time alone. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Where are we? Maybe the Grand Canyon. I heard ducks can't echo. 
Duck. Ducks quack can't echo. I heard that somewhere. I don't know why it wouldn't. I have never heard that. Uh, okay. I, I heard okay. that from friends. They're okay. probably lying, but that's what I heard. Quack, quack! <laughs> Hello! Hello! See, it sounds better when I talk. <laughs> so if it was a real duck, I don't think it would echo. We echo the best. A dog would probably be better than a duck. Because, well, a duck doesn't echo. But it, a dog would be better than a duck. Ruff, ruff! See, that echoes better than... Quack, quack! I have to my own theory. And finally, one of our most popular and beloved correspondents, the fruitcake lady, 94 years old, fascinating lady. Yeah, she was, uh, she was Truman Capote's aunt. She was in the, in the oh, Christmas really? story. Yeah, she's in the, yeah, fascinating lady, 94 years old. And she talks straight from the hip, always speaks her mind. Well, she's no longer with us, sadly, but she left the legacy of some of the most outrageous, truthful advice you'll ever hear. Take a look. Hi, I'm Colleen from New Jersey. My husband's always complaining about working so hard. How do I get him off the couch to mow the lawn? Why can't you mow the lawn? You have a riding lawnmower? If you have a riding lawnmower, there's no problem. And you can certainly get your fat ass on that and do that. How many gingerbread men can I fit in my mouth at once? You really make me mad when you come with me a question like that. You put, I don't care, just chin up your ass as far as I'm concerned. Never heard of anything so sick. When a man has a lot of sex partners, he's called a stud. But what do you call a woman with a lot of partners? She's a whore. I would like to know what advice you can give to newlyweds to achieve a happy, successful marriage. The woman should always keep herself clean and attractive in every sense of the word. Keep yourself clean. Keep Miss Puss clean all the time. Now that you're on TV and a role model for youngsters, don't you think you should stop using bad language? Hell no. All right, Marie Winnicell. Be right back with Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right now. in fraud monitoring system. So online or off, you're protected. Protection matters. Chase what matters. The germ-killing Eclipse Gum Biggie Pack. Fresh breath in your car. Okay. 60 germ-killing pieces. Seriously. The Eclipse Gum Biggie Pack now kills bad breath germs. Advanced fresh breath. Seriously. It gives the world fewer smog forming emissions. It gives you a 50 mile per gallon rating. The third generation Prius. It's harmony between man, nature, and machine. Sam Raimi, the director of Spider-Man in the Evil Dead trilogy, <laughs> returns to horror with a vengeance. A dark spirit has come upon you. I will come to take you. Take me where? To burn in hell for eternity. Drag me to hell. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday. What's great about the iPhone on the nation's fastest 3G network is if dinner turns into dinner in a movie, 
you can quickly download an app from the App Store, see what's playing, watch a trailer, and buy tickets. All before you can say, check please, the iPhone 3G on AT&T, the nation's fastest 3G network. Get ESPN360.com free with any Verizon broadband service and watch more than 3,000 live sporting events on your computer. ESPN360.com is your online home of the UEFA Champions League. Watch soccer's best players and top teams compete live. Get all the action of the UEFA Champions League on ESPN360.com. Switch to Verizon today for as low as $17.99 per month and get access to the best online sports with ESPN360.com on Verizon Broadband. I stopped at the store after school. There was a spot of water on the floor. My left foot hit the water, went up in the air and came down and landed on my elbow and broke the elbow. Ended up with two surgeries. Bills were piling up with the therapy, physical therapy. Met a fellow who recommended Rudder Mills because I, I just started looking through the phone book. Rudder Mills, where personal injuries get personal attention. I think Rudder Mills has very professional, very caring, and very competent. Yeah, they, they did right by me. years it's hard to believe tonight marks his 25th appearance on the show and we have <laughs> we have a lot of fun at his expense over the years take a look the answer is schwarzenegger <laughs> look out get down <laughs> what are you doing over the there? you don't even sound you sound like a big fat idiot you don't even sound like that. No. you sound like a stupid jay leno oh, impersonator arnold schwarzenegger saw my movie in june i'm told and he said i'm going to get rid of my homo you have to pronounce your T's with these, like that, it. things such as that, you see. <laughs> Try it, things such as that. Try it. Things such as that. It, the sentence does not have to make sense. The people are <laughs> excited about what is happening, you see what I mean? <laughs> people are excited about what is happening. Exactly. exactly. I, I had to take a poop on my Hummer, so I called Maria Shriver. <laughs> I love I was, the very funny, funny Dana, Dana Carvey on the show tonight. tonight. Plus, Plus actress Marlon Ackerman from the Heartbreak Kid. Music from Plain White Tees and Amazon.com were sellers coming up right after show. the news. And and things such as that. Please welcome Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thanks for coming. Thank you, thank you. I mean, this was very funny. Yeah. <laughs> you're, such a, you're such an idiot. Yeah, well, you always call I mean, me an idiot. You're, you're an idiot. Exactly. But what was the funniest about it was Al Gore trying to be funny. Yeah, that yeah. Was no, funny. That, that, that's very hard. I mean, he's to comedy what Raymond Burr was to pole vaulting. Really? Yeah, yeah. exactly. But anyway. <laughs> Why not? You had a good time with it. We did. We did. Yeah, now, did exactly. you have a nice Memorial Day? What'd yeah, you do? it was terrific. Yeah. Uh, we played around. We went on a bicycle ride down to yeah. the beach and uh, played some tennis. You know, mm -hmm. the whole family being together. Yeah, it was yeah, really cool, great. Cool, yeah. Cool. Have you seen the new Terminator movie yet? Have you seen that? Oh, yeah, yeah. We went to see it. The whole family went to see it. Right. It's a good but family movie. It's a great family <laughs> movie. <Exactly. laughs> the only thing is... I was somewhat a little, I was a little bit upset because when I went out, I said, "What do you think?" I said, "That was the best Terminator movie ever." Really? Yeah, wow. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's I said, little... "Boy, that's really thanks yeah. a lot." I mean, that really helped. Me. It's hard for me to believe, but your daughter Catherine, she's in college now. Yeah, can you believe that? I should just give the commencement speech yeah. at the USC, yeah. and uh, which wow. was really a great, great okay. uh, event. Now, and, who is going to have a uh, harder time with the whole empty nest syndrome thing? You and Maria. Well, I think that it will be tough for both of us, but for Maria, it's a little bit easier. She said, as long as I'm at home, there's always a child at home, so it right, doesn't right. make any difference, you know, so I understand what she's saying. Well, tell me about the commencement address. How did that go? You, you, you spoke to the students. What did you tell them? Well, I told them about the, the secrets of the success. All right. Good. I mean, well, then the well, well, I mean, you know, I'm not going to give the long version now, but right. what it cuts down to is just simply come to this country, work like hell, and marry a Kennedy. Right. And and you that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, uh, 
<laughs> that seemed to work. It worked no, for you. It really worked. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Very good. Very good. And, uh, Tamir, Maria is terrific. She's a great first lady. Great mother. Great <laughs> wife. She's fantastic. Yeah. 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 Now, this is your 25th time here, and we put together some highlights of your appearances here over uh -oh. the years. Yeah, take a look. Take a look. When you come out on the Jay Leno show, you just go and you just say the things you want to say. Don't pay any attention to him. Oh, yeah. The Terminator is back! Yeah, yeah. You girly man, you look <laughs> at you. <laughs> with, your, with, your little, with your little love handles, I can put them over your head and use it like a little shopping bag. <laughs> See, I had this. So every time... I saw you on television, and you made a funny joke about my heart surgery. Oh, oh I see. There you are. Like oh, this. Very good. You see how bad this is? Do I talk like that? He's talking exactly talking like, like that. that. I'm going to reinstate the car tax for you. Really? Really? Right, 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 right. You never know with you. <laughs> what trick questions you have up your sleeves. Not a trick question. Are you going to run for office? No, no. And there's only one place where anyone... Anyone in America can declare a can their candidacy. And this is right here on the and night show. Exact. I'm going to run for governor of the state of California. I was so... Yeah. I was so thrown by that night. Because you came and I said, well, you know, there's not a lot of people here. There's no reporters. Oh, he! I, I felt bad teasing. He's not going to announce he's running. Of course, he's not going to run. I was caught totally by surprise. <laughs> well, 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 well I, 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 first of all, when you look at this, it's really wonderful to see this. I mean, this is like 17 years on the Tonight Show. <laughs> I, I mean, and before then, it was another 17 years right, on right, the Tonight right, Show. Right. And, and what's amazing is, is that I look exactly the same today as really? I did 17 years ago. So I asked myself, "Wow, I did." Well, you know, that's because of us. Uh, I asked myself, what happened to you? Well, oh. <laughs> you idiot. Well, you have the special effects. You see, that's the whole thing. That's the thing. Look, when we come back, I want to talk politics. I want to talk about what's going on here in California. Be right back. We're going to this right now. There are rocks that can amaze you that can inspire your imagination. Rocks that can touch your heart, soothe your senses, or just help you appreciate the simple things. Yes, a rock can do a lot of things, but only this rock has the strength and stability you need now to help you plan for a rock-solid retirement. Prudential. You want to give your family a better life? So Renner Center makes it easy to get the things your family wants and needs. No credit checks, no credit needed. Satisfaction guaranteed. Hey, it's their way of making it easy on you. Friday. Yes. The wait oh boy. is up for the funniest comedy of the summer. Cool. Oh, brother. Time Magazine raves. Disney Pixar's Up is a triumph. It's hilarious and funny, funny, funny. Hey. Hey. Go miss the funniest 3D adventure of the summer. Hi there. My master made me this call so that I may talk. Squirrel. Hi there. Disney Pixar's Up. Rated PG. I love you. Starts Friday. Tonight on Late Night, Whoopi Goldberg plus Stephen Baldwin's going to be thrown into a jungle live on NBC. At some point, somebody's going to die on one of these shows. <laughs> Tonight after Jay on NBC. Tomorrow, Jay Leno, a comics life. From the classroom to late night legend. When was that time when you realized, I'm, I'm funny? On Today on NBC.
Does it seem like all your friends are moving ahead and you're getting left behind? At ECPI, we focus on one thing, making your life move faster. With convenient schedules online or on campus and bachelor degrees in network security or web development, you study exactly what you need to get ahead. So if you want to get in, get out, and get on with your career, log on to ecpi.edu and go from zero to bachelor's in 2.5 years. Already have college credit? You could finish even sooner. Kentucky Grilled Chicken. Kentucky Grilled Chicken? This is fabulous. New Kentucky Grilled Chicken. Marinated and grilled to perfection for that five-star fall-off-the-bone taste. Mix original and grilled in your bucket. Ten delicious pieces for just $9.99. Tasty on fried side of KFC. It's grilled. It's grilled. It's all good. New Kentucky Grilled Chicken. It's marinated and grilled to perfection for that five-star fall-off-the-bone taste. Now try New Kentucky Grilled Chicken in a two-piece meal for just $3.99. Tasty on fried side of KFC. Performance now is all about logic. That some cars cost as much as $1,500 to maintain is one thing. That others cost even more is quite another. That a BMW costs you nothing to maintain defies all logic whatsoever. And in turn, makes it the most logical choice of all. Performance now is the 3 Series. Lease a BMW 3 Series for $349 a month, now until June 1st. Want big taste for little coin? Rally's new Bacon Cheddar Crunch Burger. Just a buck. Big bacon action in every bite. Or get Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Chicken Sandwich or a Piled High Rally Burger. Each just a buck. Three slamming sandwiches. One sweet price. Rally's little place. Big taste. Open late because big taste never sleeps. Weather and traffic together. Weekday morning on Wavy News 10. Welcome back. Talk with Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, uh, big story today here in California. They upheld the uh, ban on gay marriage. What's your thought on that? Well, as I sent out already a press statement uh, saying that we... Uh, you know, will uphold the law. We respect uh, the court's decision. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, this is not over, this decision, because I think they're going to be back. They will be in a year or two, they will be back again with another right. initiative trying to get it, you know, and eventually it's going to be overturned, I'm sure of that. Because in my home state of Massachusetts, uh, I read in the paper today, from a purely economic standpoint, gay marriage in Massachusetts brought in $111 million. Because with yeah. gay marriage, you have two people interested in the wedding. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, <laughs> so you got twice as much. I, I mean, I don't get what, why people get so, why this bothers people so much. Well, you know, for some people, it's, uh, yeah. it's against their religious, religious beliefs. I and they, Everyone has their own opinion. Okay. And, you know, the people voted uh, last November and uh, voted for Proposition 8, which bans gay marriages. Right. And they, so now the Supreme Court has interpreted it and said, yeah, this was, uh, it, can, it should be upheld, mm -hmm. uh, the will of the people, and then they have to go back and do another initiative. Do the whole thing and, yeah, exactly, right. yeah. Now, obviously, this state's fiscal problems go back a, a long, long way. There was a big setback few last week when all, the, uh, all those propositions were defeated. Uh, explain to people what, what was going on if they're not from California. Well, you know, I think that the state of California obviously is hit. Uh, the same as other states and uh, other countries. You know, there's an economic decline all over the world, and I think that the world has one third less value right now as it had maybe just a year ago. And so we are really, you know, having a huge deficit because we have some additional problems with the initiative process, with the two thirds vote that we have in order to get a budget passed, right. the courts making decisions over our health care and prisons and so on. So it is much tougher. So we ask the people to vote on certain changes to raise an extra six billion dollars so we can balance the budget. And the people voted it down and overwhelmingly voted it down. And so why I do think you think that, that, I mean, Well, I think the people are just upset at uh, Sacramento. They feel like the politicians should take care of, they've been sent to Sacramento to right. take care of the problems. Don't come to us all the time with those kind of questions. We are not running the state, you run the state right. and do your job. So I think that I have definitely gotten the message loud and clear 
that we have to live within our means, that we have to fix the problems, that we shouldn't raise the taxes, and uh, do the same as everyone else does in California and businesses do, that you can only uh, you know, spend what you have. Right. We are not the federal government. We are not printing our own money. We cannot ring up trillions of dollars of deficit and debt and all of those things. So that's what we're going to do. And I have absolute confidence that Democrats and Republicans will get together within the next few weeks and uh, going to fix those problems, not only the problem that we have right now to, 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 to balance the budget, but also, I think, to, to, to look in the long run, uh, in the long term, and to fix the structural problems that California has that always gets us into this uh, trouble. Because everyone could see that uh, we have been put through a stress test right, right now, and we have failed that stress test, that we have to change certain things, the way we do the budget and the way we run the state. See, that's what I'm saying. I mean, April 15th. All right, good. It's like April 15th, we sent them all our money, and they're broke already. No, it's, 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 no, it's unbelievable. It's, but it's not, it's not that. It, it, in, in, in reality, one should know that our revenues have dropped by 27%. Mm -hmm. So we had revenues of $104 billion. Now there's $76 billion, all within a few months. Right. So you, when you budget education and the schools that you have, and you budget health care and the prisons and law enforcement and all the various different programs and you expect $104 billion to come in and all of a sudden you only have $76 billion, right. you have a real challenge in your hand. And I think that's the challenge that we're facing and that's what we have to solve in this next months. Here's one that, 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 that kind of close to home to me. Here, we do a lot of shows here at NBC. And a lot of shows are going to Connecticut and other states because they give a tax incentive. It's actually cheaper to move. Them. Why can't we give tax incentives to keep TV and film? I mean, we're the people, or this is the city that sort of invented the whole deal. Why, why can't it stay here? Why, why is it going to other, why aren't we doing whatever we can to make sure it stays here? Well, I mean, first of all, uh, we have made this part of our economic stimulus package mm -hmm. when we did the budget just last February, where we have, for the first time, uh, created tax incentives for production companies like U.S. television production and movie productions, which starts going into effect in July. So that's number one. So we, right. we did that. But number two, I think it was very hard to get that done in the last five years in Sacramento. Because every time I talk about that and they try to put it on the table, they say, well, you're just doing that because you're an actor and you come from show business, so you want to help them. Why don't you help manufacturers? Then we have to give the same tax credit right. for manufacturers. Right. And Democrats come to me and say, how are we going to explain this to the homeless people? Because the homeless people are saying, oh, so you give the rich people in Hollywood tax incentives, and for us, you have no money and we have to sleep out on the streets. So everyone had the reasons why they couldn't go along with it. Right. So it's very complex to get those things because in any case, you have to get a two-thirds vote in order to get any of those decisions approved. Right. So that's what makes it challenging. But we have it now, and now I think more productions will be staying here. And of course, you, of course, will also be staying here. I'm staying here in Burbank. Right. We're not exactly. leaving Burbank. No, exactly, which is great. No, we got 250 jobs here in That's Burbank. Right, yeah. Is that what, now you brought me something. What is this you brought me Well, here? this is exactly what this uh, proclamation is all about. I have brought a will, proclamation Will this get me out of you? a ticket? If I put this in the back window. <laughs> This will do it. This will do it. But this is a proclamation to just say thank you to you for 17 years of being in oh, California. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, boss. Thank you. I hope you'll come see us at 10 o'clock. Look at that. We've got to go. Be right back with our political montage. Governor Schwarzenegger. the door, do it now or I'll kill you. Real control center, do you read me? Who is this? Call me Ryder. With a Y, as in train Ryder. I will trade you for all these passengers. I'm just a civil service employee. You are exactly the guy I want on June 12th. They want me to take the money down to the tunnel. What? What is really happening? You recognize his voice? I didn't have anything to do with this. I'm telling one, two, three. Look up at your screen. You see what I've done? It's on the damn internet. <laughs> this wasn't planned in the last three weeks. Everything doesn't appear like what it is. Tell him one, two, three. Rated R. Ah, uh, this is weak, man. Frank's trying to not pay me my winnings for the skins beat down I just issued him because his 401k is tanking. It's like, dude, you got to grab the reins, man. Get E-Trade, do some analytics, do some research, and take charge so I don't have to subsidize your lack of golfing skills. But on the night told, you moved your ball. Frank, it was on the cart path. 
Why don't you try reading the rules, Shankopotamus? Take control with one of the most powerful investing machines there is. Join the thousand new accounts a day at E-Trade. I hear what you're saying. I just don't do commercials. It's not my thing. Conan, this is different. It's a ton of money, and it's only going to be seen in Sweden. Only in Sweden? All the Hollywood guys do this. This one commercial couldn't hurt. Wasn't me. Hey Conan, vroom vroom, body starter. Body starter. Excellent. Hello again, Earth. I'm Alec Baldwin here at Hulu with some exciting news. Now that we're beaming TV shows to your lap-based computing boxes for free, 24/7, they're finally rotting your brains, just like Mom promised they would. So keep watching. The sooner your brains have percolated into bubbly, cheesy goo, the sooner we can slurp them through your ear canals and pass them through our lower intestines. Because we're aliens, and that's what we do. Hulu, an evil plot to destroy the world. Enjoy. If you could have your perfect cell phone, what would that do for you? Phones these days do so much more. Internet, emails, camera, GPS, text messages. They're really your lifeline to so many things. The biggest thing for Best Buy Mobile is that you can look at AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint. We're very familiar with the activation systems, the features, the pricing, the plan. We're able to give that all to you and help you make a better choice for yourself. We'll transfer your numbers, all your pictures, your music. We're going to make sure you hit the ground running. I'm a huge phone geek, and I want people to be just as excited for this stuff as I am. You know, I sell tools. Tools are uncomplicated. Nothing complicated about a pair of 10-inch hose clamp pliers. You know what's complicated? Shipping. Shipping's complicated. Not really. With priority mail flat rate boxes from the Postal Service, shipping's easy. If it fits, it ships anywhere in the country for a low flat rate. That's not complicated. No. Come on. About a handshake? Right here, right here. All right. <laughs> priority mail flat rate boxes. Only from the Postal Service. A simpler way to ship. what Jay's first car was or his favorite guest. Ask Jay any question you want and he just might post an answer. It's only at NBC.com. Hi, I'm Conan O'Brien and I'm here to tell you about an exciting new technology called television. Television allows you to watch things just as you would on your computer or cell phone except while seated in a more comfortable chair. Television. Why not watch some tonight? The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien premieres Monday on NBC Television. If you could hear people's thoughts, would you use it to help yourself or someone else? This isn't a curse. It's a gift. The Listener premieres Thursday, June 4th on NBC. great perks of this job over the past 17 years, I've gotten to speak face-to-face -face with some of the most important political leaders in the country. Just about anybody running for president has come through here. And as someone who has flunked social studies a number of times, <laughs> this is very impressive to me. Oh, right. I mean, I'm always impressed when I get to meet the candidates. And we've met just about every single one of them, and uh, we've had a lot of fun with them over the years. Here's, take a look at some of our favorite uh, moments with political figures. Here we go. Senator Biden, let me say what a thrill it is to have you on the program. It's my pleasure to be back, Jay, and let me assure you, uh, I've made some verbal gaffes, but not this time. Not this time. Ready to start the show? Yes. Let's do it. Live from New York, it's Saturday night. Thanks you're going to eat it, Newt. I've always wanted to be known as Skip. Skip? Yeah. Skip Powell. Yeah. Right we got heavy traffic on 405. No accident, though. Just lots of loyal Americans coming home from a hard day, putting money into the economy, fearing the Democrats may raise their taxes again. I got to tell you, Martin, I think the West Wing is great. Hey, thanks a lot, Jay. Well, you know, a lot of it is in the writing. The show is so realistic. 
I, I mean, how do you get such realistic scripts week after week? We have a great and very knowledgeable staff. Yeah. Uh, here's next week's uh, episode. Of Martin. Oh, how are you doing? How are you doing? I smell it. Good deal. Subliminable? That's scary. Subliminable? This is more scary. I'm getting a little worried. The governor here yet? He's in his dressing room, Jay. Oh, great. Who's Tony Blair? Who's Boris Yeltsin? Governor. Listen, I'm not going to tell anybody you didn't know who Boris Yeltsin is. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is my daily brief from one of my top foreign policy advisors. All right, Governor, once again, the category is world leaders. This man was prime minister of Israel from 1996 to 1999. Who's Benjamin Netanyahu? You're right again. I kind of wonder what he's going to talk about after my husband's no longer president. And he'll talk about you. Oh, dear. That's even worse. <laughs> the Democratic candidate for the presidency of the United States, Congressman Dennis Kucinich, ladies and gentlemen. Bachelorette number one. Valentine's Day is coming up, and you want to give me one of those uh, little plastic hearts with a message on it. Yes, What does I it do. say? It says, how's your hanging, Chad? <laughs> Currently running for the Democratic presidential nomination. He is, uh, I guess he's running a little bit late. Uh, Ellen, put on the outside cameras. Senator John Kerry, there you are. The first time you brought Arnold home. It was a little bit of a shock. Was, I mean, yeah, really? Was, well, I think, you know, people were kind of like a little bit like, uh, you know, what, what is that? Or what was that? How many dates before the family went? He was okay. Eventually, <gasps> yeah. It, it might have, uh, maybe wedding day, you know, maybe something like <laughs> He's running for president of the United States. All is exciting. We have the candidates here. Please welcome Senator Barack Obama. <laughs> You're calling yourself the underdog now. You're sort of... Hitting yourself as oh, the I've underdog. always been the When really? your name is Barack Obama, you yeah. are always the underdog. <laughs> I'm running for president of the United States. Yeah, who do you love? What's your favorite band of all time? Led Zeppelin. Really? Led Zeppelin. ask you about your dad. My father was the kind of man who worked the same job and with a single salary sent me and my brother to some of the best schools in the country yeah. and here I sit perhaps to become the next first lady of the United States if if the voters choose. You have a picture of your dad. Let's show that picture. Thank you dad right there. It's been a week since the election. How you doing? Well I've been sleeping like a baby. Yeah. yeah. Um, sleep two hours, wake up and cry. Sleep two hours, wake up and cry. The 44th President of the United States, please welcome President Barack Obama. When is the dog coming? I keep hearing about the dog. L -l Listen, this is Washington. <laughs> that was a campaign promise. Oh, wow! Wow! The Fun. Be right back with Dwight Yoakam right after this. Tonight on Late Night, Whoopi Goldberg plus Stephen Baldwin's going to be thrown into a jungle live on NBC. At some point, somebody's going to die on one of these shows. <laughs> Tonight, Esther J on NBC. In just six days, the biggest live event of the summer begins right here on NBC. And the fate of 10 pampered celebrities is in your hands. Ah! I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here begins Monday, 8, 7 central on NBC. Meet Lisa, Tara, Jody, and Emily. They love that Target has a steal on their staples. But that's just the beginning of their high, high expectations. They expect to know who they're wearing. They expect to know who's feeding them. And they expect to know who they're sleeping with. So Jody, Emily, Tara, and Lisa shop Target, where they can always expect more and pay less. At Victory Nissan, we finance your future, not your past. Our credit counselors will help put you in the car you want. That's the Victory difference. 
Victor Nissan's Wavy's expert on your side. Applebee's introduces real burgers. Like the Steakhouse Burger, topped with A1 steak sauce, melted jack, and crispy onion strings. Always up for a road trip with Applebee's car side to go. Get real burgers at Applebee's. It's a whole new neighborhood. Ten years ago, Victory set out to build the industry's best bikes. And now, we're backing them up with the industry's best warranty. At least one thing will hold up to how hard you ride. Check out TestRideVictory.com to set up a test ride and lock in your five-year warranty. Victory, the new American motorcycle. Offer ends May 31st. Because we can't reinvent traffic. Invented how the driver navigates around it. With advanced XM real-time traffic and predictive weather, suddenly the world's not so complex. The all-new 2010 Lexus RX at Charles Barker Lexus Newport News and Charles Barker Lexus Virginia Beach. I've had eight cars, moved 12 times, lived in three countries, fought two wars, and had four kids. Navy Federal understands the military. I joined Navy Federal when I was 19 to get a car loan. After that, it was mortgages, home equity loans, investments. I'm still with them. I even signed up my entire family. Once you're a member, you're always a member. No matter how much your life changes, they're right there for you. Navy Federal. Proud to serve. Hey, they even saved my son money on a car loan. We bought carpet for this room. We got free carpet for that room. Plus, free flooring for that one. Buy carpet or flooring for one room and get two more rooms free from Empire. We offer quality products and you get to shop at home. Plus, we install next day with no payments for one year. Buy one, get two rooms free. Call Empire today. How can you afford not to? 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. Virginia's most honored news operation. Ten Associated Press Awards. Two Edward R. Murrow Awards. One outstanding team. Wavy News 10 and Fox 43. All right, my next guest has been a terrific friend of the show. We're thrilled to be here. In 2001, we got to travel to the Middle East together and entertain the troops, which was great. What a pro, standing on tanks, playing guitar, singing songs. He was great. Terrific actor, singer, songwriter. Tonight he's performing a special medley for us. Please welcome Dwight Yoakam. I gotta say something. On behalf of myself, my band, and every other band that's played in the 17 years that you've you've had the show as your own, nobody has ever showed shown musicians the kind of respect that you've shown them, Jay. Just by the very act of standing on that corner of that stage every night and watching us wow, do the show, appreciate do the song. So hopefully you enjoy this. Well, thank you very much. Just standing alone in this room, surrounded by memories we start making too soon. Oh, I was just standing, I was just standing alone in this room. Just thinking all of myself, how I still want you and nobody else. Oh, I was just thinking, I was just thinking all of myself. Everywhere I see the joy 
Dwight Yoakam. Hey, stay tuned. Jimmy Fallon coming up right now. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys.